Let's take a look at the Power Query Editor at two tables that we want to append. That means we want to put one on top of the other. U.S. sales and international sales need to be appended. International sales has the same five columns that the U.S. sales table has, one, two, three, four, five, but it also has this sixth column called country. And it has more than just Australia in there. Hit the load more button and you can see that there's six countries worth of data in here, right? I can add a column here that says country, USA. That way when I append, I don't have any errors to fix. Let's go to add column. We'll add a conditional column. I know, I'm gonna call this column country, and I know that if my units column, my units column doesn't have any zeros or any nulls in it. You wanna verify that, we can head over there click load more you can see that it's from one to whatever but there's no zeros and no nulls in there right so everything that is equal to or greater than one is going to output as usa so let's do it conditional column country if the column name of units is equal to or greater than greater than or equal to one then we are going to output usa and just to be sure we'll put null here in case there's anything else that doesn't meet that criteria, but I'm pretty confident. Let's press OK. Let's take a look at our column, load more. We shouldn't see any more. We should only see USA here, and we do. This was Justin from Pragmatic Works, and I'll see you in another video about the Power Query Editor.